Hey everybody, it's Monkey Farm. Uh, another Let's Play episode. We're going to continue doing some things with the mob torture chamber. Um, I've cleaned it up a bit. If you remember last time, I had some half blocks underneath and it was a little choppy looking. Uh, so I cleaned up the top row or the top part of it and the bottom to make it look all nice. I'll put a link up to the the last video where I actually built the mob torture chamber uh, so you get an idea uh, if you didn't see that video what it is and um, we'll flip it on real quick just to uh, just to show you guys what the deal is and what we're gonna do today is um, we're gonna change this a little bit to improve it right now I have the switch uh, up here in the treehouse and that's really kind of annoying because the torture chambers way down there um, also the, the the water channel for the mobs to go through is down there so we can't really see the mobs very well either so what what basically happens is that switch um, turns uh, some pistons on to block the way down so the mobs don't fall to the bottom and it also turns the mob spawner uh, switch on to wash all the mobs down to the center I'm just going to shut it off now. So anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to build a wireless redstone, uh, I guess a remote control kind of thing. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of videos out. Um, there's some wireless redstone designs that people have been using. Um, uh, so anyway, um, what happens is the mobs uh, get washed off into the center and we feed them to our good old buddy, the Iron Golem. Uh, the only problem is that we all, we're also going to have to fix is uh, creepers. I guess I'm open to suggestions if you guys have an idea of what I should build into the mob torture chamber um, to kill the creepers. That's right. Oh, I guess we had a straggler in the water. Um, anyway, yeah, suggestions to uh, uh, for how to kill the creepers, whether it's a... Uh, uh, an arrow dispenser or something I don't know whatever uh, whatever you guys think might work I haven't really thought about it too much but uh, right now what we're gonna do is build the wireless redstone uh, control remote control so let's get up there and build the receiver first and then we'll see we'll see if it'll work it's pretty easy to build so if if it doesn't work uh, and I have to rebuild it it's not gonna be a big deal Okay, so uh, I'm up here on the other side, and uh, ideally what I'd like to do is build a receiver over here so that uh, it's kind of hidden or, you know, mixed in with the mob spawner so it doesn't really stand out or anything. Um, so, whoops, I'm just going to build, uh, I'm going to build it right here, see if it works. Uh, I'm hoping everything will work fine. If not, well, we'll figure something else out. So I'm just going to build a little layer out here and I guess I'll make everything all the way out to the end just to uh, let's see, I want the torch on the end and where was it? Right here. That should work. Um, okay, so we need a piston, sticky piston and we're gonna put a glass uh, glass paint on top of it by the way uh, I'm gonna link to everybody that I know who has uh, done some kind of tutorial on this because I don't really know who really invented it um, uh, I know uh, our buddy test 137 e29 uh, did one a while back a few months ago uh, but that's a different design than this one um, there's a guy uh, static didn't invent it but he did a good tutorial on it which is what I saw um, and I will link to the guy who he referred to as his source okay so what we need to do I need to clear some space uh, my inventory I have uh, a bunch of junk in here at the moment so um, I'm gonna need two blocks out here and we're gonna put a pressure plate here and then the boat here so basically what's going to happen is this thing is going to run and repeat and uh, hopefully I won't be able to hear it from anywhere really in my base. I, I shouldn't, it shouldn't cause a problem because everything else should be far enough away where I can't hear it. Okay, I'm going to make a few more 
uh, stone bricks here just to keep everything nice and uh, consistent. I think that will work. And we need this. Uh, let's see. How did I? How do I do this? Okay. So uh, what we need to do is a couple different things. Uh, do I have a repeater? Yes. Good. So I need a repeater here, and I think I need it on the third or fourth tick. Um, okay. Let's see. So it doesn't look like the boat is being pushed. So there's something. Um, there's something activating the, the the left half of this glass block because the boat. Uh, I don't have another boat. Uh, the boat should be bouncing up on the uh, on the piston on the glass. So. It's not, so something is activating, I'm guessing. Okay, so uh, what I've had to do is actually switch this to um, to metal bars instead. Um, so, or iron bars, sorry. Uh, and so basically the way this works, I have three iron bars connected. So here's a full iron bar block, and then the other sides are the half. Uh, or, you know, they don't, they don't fill up the whole block unless you have a block connecting them. So what happens is if you watch that boat, uh, if I look at this or press against it, uh, it will hold the boat up. The, the iron bar will push the boat up. Now, if I move over to this side, the boat drops because this is, it has something to do with the hitbox and the link uh, to the video uh, that Static explained it very well, so I'm not gonna try to do it again. So basically what happens is this pressure plate will now be our connection to uh, that will be our, our switch. So um, when we are looking at this or pressing against it, um, the boat will be pressing, pressing the pressure plate and uh, then it will turn on whatever we want it to turn on. Okay, so what we need to do is actually go over here to where we want the remote control to be and we need to uh, hopefully, hopefully this will work. I'm not actually sure, but uh, is that three or to there we go did you see the boat just fell so this is our button or this is the one that uh, the that will activate the uh, the mob spawner switch so all we have to do is flip that on or uh, yeah I guess we can hook a switch up to it or something um, let's see look at that if I'm not looking at it or pressing against it, the boat starts uh, jumping. I thought you had to reset it, but um, anyway, that's kind of weird. But anyway, so that's good. Uh, we know that our button or our, our switch will work somehow. Um, so now what I need to do is go wire up the um, that actual uh, receiver over to um, where the switch was going. I can get rid of this and get rid of this redstone here and uh, we can get rid of the cat too. So I need to wire this part up to that pressure plate over there so that it will activate and um, I need to make sure I can still get through there. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Um, I guess I can run this over here. Can I still get through here? Yeah. Okay, so if I run that over here and right here, I should be able to just wire it up. I can't grab that block. Oh well. Oh, I don't have my inventory's full. Okay, so hopefully I have enough redstone. Also, I may need to use a repeater, but that's fine. Um, this is a little bit, a uh, little bit messy, but um, okay. So that should actually work now. Uh, simple as that. Okay, so let's count this out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're all good. We don't need a repeater. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to. 
the um, to the mob torture chamber area. And now what we need to do is basically um, connect a switch to this somehow. So now what, what should be happening is the mobs should be uh, coming through. So I either need to build this, you know, connect it to a switch uh, so we can leave it on or um, just stand here until the mobs get here. But that's kind of lame to stand here. I want to be able to turn it on and then, you know, go do whatever I need to do. But we should be getting some mobs in here. Let's uh, see. Yeah, we've got 35 mobs. So at some point, they should be coming through. And here they come. So now I can reset that. And now, uh, now the switch will be off, I think. Yep, because the boat is up. So all the mobs will uh, eventually come through now. Wow, we've got a whole lot of mobs. Very awesome. So uh, we'll just let let our iron golem have his fun. So I uh, definitely need to come up with a good way to kill the creepers. So uh, why don't you guys give me your best suggestions and whatever uh, whatever I think is the best idea, I will build next episode. Um, so now what we need to do is just get this switch connected uh, somehow. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do for the switch, but uh, I will mess around with that for a bit and figure it out. Okay, so I've accidentally, uh, well not accidentally, I've uh, what I've done is uh, I've done what Static did in his uh, video. Um, he hooked up um, a, way, a way to update one of these iron blocks is to shoot an arrow at it. Um, and the arrow will sit there for you know five minutes or whatever and leave it on um, and the way you reset it is to shoot an arrow at the center one so it will switch it'll update to a full iron block which will uh, basically turn the the remote control switch off um, I don't know if I uh, explained any of that well enough but uh, anyway check out the videos that I'm linking uh, if uh, if I'm not being clear about it I just kind of learned about it recently and uh, this is the first one I've built I didn't practice uh, in a test world or anything yet so uh, I am learning as we speak as well so anyway but yeah that's how it works so if I shoot an arrow here you see the boat drops and then uh, that will activate my whole uh, mob torture chamber switch and have the mobs come out here um, now if I s hit the center one, it will reset and uh, you'll see the boat is now up on the iron block and that will shut it off. The reason for the third one is that you have to have an iron block next to um, this one to make it a full block, otherwise it'll just be like a half, uh, like a half block. So uh, I think, actually, yes, they're, they'll both be half blocks unless I put that one there. Uh, so now I can activate, I could uh, hook up something else in the base to this switch and that could be controlled wirelessly as well. So um, anyway, I've, I've put some arrows in both of these and uh, I just need to make sure I don't accidentally turn that on and trigger it. Uh, maybe I'll put some half slabs on top of, uh, let's see. see if that will work. That way I don't accidentally look at it. I need to go get some uh, stone. I guess I could make some stone uh, anyway. but So the switch is kind of ugly. I may uh, do something different th with that, but uh, basically you know, this is how it is. It's, uh, it's a switch and if I accidentally look at it I guess uh, it will activate so I can always come over and uh, hit the middle one. Okay, so uh, I've decided to clean this up a bit. Uh, what I've done, I've just put three blocks here with uh, with the three buttons and moved the dispensers down lower um, and then also put a half slab here so that I can refill the dispensers with arrows uh, easily. And um, I kind of still want to... Uh, 
I'd like to cover it up the front, but I think um, I can't I can't put blocks around this because what'll happen is uh, these won't be half blocks anymore. They'll connect, so uh, that will kind of ruin the whole remote control switch how it works. Uh, but at least when I'm walking up here, um, I won't be able to uh, accidentally flip the switch, or at least not very easily. Uh, I guess I could still do it. Um, let's see, if I'm walking up here, yeah, as long as I don't look up, I'm not going to accidentally activate the switch. So let's see, flip the switch and the boat goes down, so that would open it and now the boat's back up. So I may or may not uh, change that in the future. By the way, so uh, in between the time... <laughs> That I built, I, I just built this and, uh, and then came back, but uh, I guess I don't need to show you this really. It's just a little staircase up. Just uh, an easier way to get up to the tree house. So I climb up the vines here, have a little railing, and uh, that way I can get up here. And um, I guess I don't need this like this anymore. I could put stairs back. Uh, do I still have my... I thought I had a chest up here. Or a, um, a crafting bench. But I guess I can put one here. Might be useful to have one out here. Uh, what do I need? I needed some wood stairs. Okay, and so our our wireless redstone switch is working now. So that's pretty cool. New technology. It's uh, nice to see uh, new inventions are still coming out, um, or you know, there's still new things to build. That's always good to uh, to have new things to build, so we don't get bored or anything like that. But um, so, uh, that is it for now. Once again, don't forget to give your suggestions on how to kill the creepers because uh, obviously that is a problem we need to fix. So, so anyway, um, that is it for now. Uh, we have our wireless redstone working. Uh, make sure you like and favorite the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, I would appreciate it. Um, and check out test 137 E29's video and Static's video as well. I will be linking to all those. They are uh, the uh, inventors and promoters of this wireless redstone thing. Uh, so I'm just utilizing it. But uh, anyway, uh, once again, uh, stay tuned for the next video. And uh, we will talk to you later.